Welcome back to our series on hinge prompts for each Enneagram type. Today's Enneagram type that I'm going to be discussing is the type one, reformer or moral protagonist. You could call them either one of those things. And I can relate a lot to what uh, the type one reformer on the Enneagram speaks to on a daily basis. The eight and the one can oftentimes get uh, confused with each other because we behave the same way, but our motivations are different. So just a quick uh, synopsis of what the Enneagram type one in our hinge prompt series will look like. Uh, they're ethical with a strong sense of right and wrong. They're teachers, crusaders, and advocates for change, but all, always striving to improve things, but afraid of making a mistake. Very organized, orderly, and fastidious. They try to maintain high standards and can slip into being critical and perfectionistic. So if that feels like you, this series is just spot on for you today. I love this hinge prompt, this next one. Something that's non-negotiable for me. And as the type one, you can think of them as like a lawyer or an advocate for the for social reform, right? They're always going to be standing up for um, social programs, education, um, uh, abortion rights, women's rights, uh, something that is classically uh, argued about or discussed in modern America, right? So something that's non-negotiable for me as the type one, I'm right, I know I'm right, I'm always going to be right, and you should know that up front. So this is a very transparent way for the type one to remind their future partner or the person that they're dating that they're going to stand on that soapbox when it comes to social programs. Do not take this thing away from me, otherwise that's gonna lead to a lot of conflict for the type one, uh, the reformer. You may see this hinge prompt pop up a lot. Which is more important to you? And it's a really good question to ask before a first date or on a first date. Which is more important to you? Because it gives us a good sense of who the other person is. But the type one, the reformer, is going to wanna know what your feelings are on having standards or expectations in a relationship. This is really important to them because their their basic desire as the type one is to be good, to have integrity, and to be balanced. Now, if you have expectations of a partner and you're in partnership with a type one, that's gonna almost constrict that type of a person. They wanna be seen as good and right, ethically, morally. And that's why the type one lives by standards in a relationship, not expectations. So if you have some covert contracts that you hold on to, it's going to rub your type one partner. This hinge prompt is by far one of the most polarizing. So the hinge prompt goes, do you agree or disagree that, and then you can fill in the sentence. The reformer is going to live this. They're going to embody this opportunity to lean into conflict, much like the Enneagram 8 loves conflict, but the Enneagram type 1 loves to be right. So do you agree or disagree that social reform should be a higher priority than it is? This type of person, whether you're a type 1 or you're dating a type 1, they're going to be an activist for something that they care about very, very greatly. And it might hyper-focus on one thing, right? When a type one is not at their best, they're going to become obsessive about imperfection and the wrongdoing of others. Although they may fall into contradictory actions, hypocritically doing the opposite of what they preach. Be aware of this if you're a type one. You may have heard of a game called Two Truths and a Lie. And this hinge prompt is really popular. At least it was when I was uh, single and dating using hinge to meet people. When the reformer or the moral protagonist plays this game of two truths and a lie, they're going to kind of check themselves a little bit and they're like, wait, uh, what's a lie? So I'm sorry, I'm unfamiliar with the word lie. Let's try three truths instead. Meaning that when you're dating a type one or you're a type one out there dating, they're going to show up very honest, uh, almost honest to a fault of like, Here's the truth, here's my truth, here's the societal truth, and I'm not gonna waver on that. And knowing that going into a dating experience with a type one or you as a type one, it's uh, an opportunity to gain some more self-awareness and show up more authentically as you are out there dating in the modern world. All right, on to the next hinge prompt. Never have I ever. 
This is a very common game, drinking game, or like a get to know you game when you're out there dating in the modern world. It might be a game somebody plays over text to get you know to get to know you better, or even over the Hinge app. So let's find out Never Have I Ever for the Type 1, the Enneagram Reformer. Never have I ever lied to my parents or people I consider to be my best friends. Much like the Enneagram 8, the Type 1 is going to have a small tight-knit group of people and they're going to keep those people close by being very honest with them they're going to believe that they have always been um, morally right and have never told a lie right and this can kind of trip up um, the Enneagram type one as they gain self-awareness or as they um, look inward this hinge prompt Love it. Absolutely love it. It's a conversation starter. And for the type one, the Enneagram reformer, they're going to want to debate every topic. If they have a a strong opinion about a topic, they're going to go toe to toe with somebody that they're dating. Or if you are dating a type one, the moral protagonist, you're going to have to go toe to toe with them. Are you strong enough to handle it? Let's debate this topic. Lord of the Rings is superior to Game of Thrones. Now, it could be one or the other. Those two things are interchangeable in a hinge prompt answer. But what I want you to be aware of and be prepared for is that if they're a Lord of the Rings fan over Game of Thrones, they're going to go toe-to-toe and they're going to die on that hill. This is a a bit far cry from social reform or social um, topics of the day, but it is something that they're going to stand firm on as if it were a social. Here we are. We're going to close out this series on hinge prompts for the type one Enneagram. Uh, A social cause I care about, of course they would have to answer this hinge prompt if they're a type one. If you're a type one showing up there, uh, showing up in modern dating and you want to do it authentically, I would recommend choosing this prompt on hinge because it's going to show your true self. A social cause I care about, improving the quality of public education Or they're going to say something like, volunteer with me. You could volunteer at anything, especially in public education, right? I remember growing up, it was was something that I had done quite a bit, is uh, volunteering through a school program in public education. It was very rewarding because I got to hang out with the young kids. But the type 1 Enneagram uh, reformer is going to go all in. They're going to do this wholeheartedly and so authentically, and it's going to give them a lot of a lot of energy. Let's close it out with this final hinge prompt for the Enneagram Type 1. Change my mind about. This is a hinge prompt that is going to be a, a way for us to show, as the Enneagram Type 1, who we truly are. We can take this seriously or we can take this as a joke. I went to the far extreme end on creating this meme. Change my mind about cleanliness is close to godliness. Now, if you go over to a type one's house, third date, fourth date for dinner, it's going to be immaculately clean. And while they don't do it intentionally, cleaning their apartment or house to get closer to God, it's almost as if that's the embodiment of that cliche or of that Um, mantra or that quote showing up this is how they embody who they are when they're at average health hi i'm dave glazer i'm a personal trainer tiktok creator and founder of dave glazer coaching after a couple of breakups in 2017 i became obsessed with understanding relationships the way people connect and along this journey i have created a life and podcast dedicated to lifelong learning and exploring how we communicate with each other through modern dating and text messaging, social media, and dating apps. This podcast brings the industry's top experts in relationship through best-selling authors, speakers, and real-life daters. We discuss the struggles, the celebrations, the fears we face, and all the wonder that relationships can bring into our lives. Please subscribe to the podcast and connect with me on Instagram and TikTok to take a candid look into modern dating.